Hello everyone, welcome back to Lantasia. We are continuing on with the design today. We are on to moving our Weber's house. So let's just kind of jump straight into it and I'll explain the plan for today. So as you can see, Weber's house is directly behind me to the left, I think, or my right, I don't know, whichever way. So basically what I want to do is kind of make a lower level in this sort of area I'll explain more and you kind of understand what I mean more when I start doing it first thing obviously I'm going to do is kind of get rid of everything tidy everything up make room for it exactly exactly <laughs> if you know what I mean is what I'm trying to say um yeah so I'm going to make room for everything and then we are going to kind of get on with it and I can show you what I mean a little bit better when I say I want to make another level below so let's just jump right into it So I've just removed everything out of the way and I'm just going to start making my lower level that I was talking about. I'm not sure if this will make any sense now as I'm doing it, but basically what I wanted to do is kind of give it like a sunken in sort of look with um, a little area for Webb's house to go. So what we're going to be doing is making sort of this indentation on the lower level below and we're going to leave um, enough room kind of behind it to leave a pathway so it's I don't have to use another incline then to get up and down from the other side where the other two houses are. Eventually they'll be moving as well so we're kind of rearranging as we're going like every other video i don't really have an exact plan of what i want the whole island to end up looking like with the new places of the houses but i definitely do want to start moving them around a little bit and just kind of testing out things that i can do with it it's all try and error like this doesn't mean that Weber's house is here forever and ever, amen, you know, that sort of thing. So this is just kind of a test set of the idea I've had. Hopefully it comes out, right, you know, nice, like semi-decent, but if not, that's absolutely fine too. It's just an idea I've been thinking about for a little while and I thought, you know, why not just give it a go now that I am kind of looking for something new to do on the island. So I've made the space ready for Weber's house. We're just gonna go grab a um, house placement kit from Nook himself. And then, yeah, we're gonna see what it looks like. So let's just jump to it. So I finally figured it out. I've moved things around, adjusted the cliffs a little bit. And this is where Weber's house is going to go. It's still obviously the cliffs around it are gonna be adjusted, but I'm pretty happy with the placement. So the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna wait until tomorrow and I will come back and show you how it looks. Um, but actually, before we do that, we're gonna do the, like finish off all the, the paths and things first and then, yeah, I can show you what it looks like tomorrow. Well, technically in this video, but tomorrow in my time. <laughs> This has like nothing to do with what I'm doing right now, but like I love, love this music that I add into these videos. It's just like so chilled and you know, like, oh, I love it. <laughs> I hope you guys like it too, actually. If you can let me know in the comments if you kind of like this sort of music, like let me know and I'll definitely keep adding it to it because I just love how it sounds. So that's pretty much all done and dusted. Are we are gonna show you what it looks like tomorrow, right about now. And it is raining, rain, rain, go away. Please come again another day. I wish it wasn't raining because it totally like kills the vibe, but I guess I have no choice but to carry on with the video in the rain. So sorry about the rain, but like, you know, you can predict weather even in Animal Crossing. <laughs> 
So what I'm doing now, I'm just kind of adjusting everything now that the house is in its place, just to kind of fin finish it off and finalise it, just to make it look that, you know, extra pretty and finished before we start with the little details of like the pathway and like the trees, flowers or any items or furniture that I'm going to use. This just kind of helps to finish off and make it look more finalised before we finish it with the actual finalising stuff. Okay, I have no idea what the heck I was just talking about then, but I hope it makes some some sort of sense to you guys, but meh. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just very like hype today and I don't know why. I feel like I'm probably speaking like a million miles per hour, so I do apologise if I'm hard to understand. <laughs> So again what I'm doing now I'm just kind of finishing off the this this top layer level layer before I move on to outside Weber's house um because I need to make some furniture and things for here so I thought I'll just do like the the top la layer first or level even I don't know why I keep saying layer hmm so yeah so we're going to be doing the pathway first and then we're going to move on to getting some furniture down and that's probably pretty much done then yeah pretty much done <laughs> So that's pretty much done now without all the furniture and items um, put down. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get them and I will be right back with the items. Da -da -da -da. We have the items and we're going to place them down. I don't have that many because I don't think we really need that much. Um, and obviously he's still got his... Um, log chairs from his previous garden so we're going to pick them up in a little bit and move them down as well so what i'm just going to be doing as well as placing items i'm just going to add the little like details such as like the rocks and the little flowers as well and then we are pretty much done we will be before ending the video finishing off that top uh, level to the right just to kind of finish off this area so when we do take a photo you don't see any like unfinished parts in it So this is pretty much all done and dusted. Before we end the video though, we are gonna finish off the top right hand area. And then we're gonna take a photo and uh, we're officially done with Weber's house again with the redesign. <laughs> I've also decided that I am going to take on the task of creating a rock garden and I know I know it's gonna do my absolute head in but I have officially decided I'm definitely gonna do it. I recently finished my art um exhibit in the museum so i actually have a lot of um fake statues that i'd love to use in the rock garden as well so i am ready to take on this task and i'm gonna probably hate doing it but it's gonna be worth it in the end i think <laughs> so that's on the cards 100 percent. i don't know when i'll do it but i feel like possibly soon we'll see what kind of happens but yeah keep an eye out for that one So here we have the final product 
I actually love how this has turned out. Obviously I still need to finish the path leading to his house but I want to move their house eventually as well so I'm going to leave it as it is at the moment but oh my gosh how pretty does this look. Like on a serious note like it's so so blinking pretty like just look at it i love it love it love it so like in every other video i just want to say thank you thank you so so much for watching i really really do appreciate it if you have liked this video please leave a like on the video and obviously comment and let me know let me know what you, what you've enjoyed or what you would like to see and if you haven't already please do subscribe as it really does help kind of support my channel and yeah thank you again and i shall definitely see you in the next one bye